so this next part is something that uh, I come to like learn from terms uh, that this is something you should be taught before uh, instead of after. This is just what I do. I teach the movement first and then I teach every other thing after. More important than the actual movement is uh, controlling the breathing and how to breathe during the movement. So a lot of people, they, they have belts. They don't know why they have a belt for it. They think it's to protect their back. It's, it's not. It's to already reinforce what you should be doing with your core already. So what you should you be doing with your core? You want to create a core stability right here. You want to take a deep breath and a big air bubble right here. How does that look? You want to pretend like you have your four fingers, you have four fingers here, and you want to fill up the balloon with air, which is your stomach or your lungs, and you want to see how your stomach comes out. You want to be able to push everything out. Once it's out, you want to. I like to use a cue. Somebody's about punching your stomach. Tighten up. So what that does, because that air bubble right there creates stability. So when you're ready to lift, you're ready to actually get, go down and, be, and descend into the squat, you want to already have that tightness. So a lot of people do take that ear big breath while they're taking the bar off the right. I like doing a little small one and then re, uh, doing it again, the actual big one right before I'm about to hit the lift. So I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Reason why we do this, you, you want to be in full control. If you squat and you're squatting one plate, two plates, whatever it is that you're squatting, and you're just going through the motion, but if I tell you to pause at the bottom, and you can't pause at the bottom because your core is giving out, that means you don't have control of the weight. That means the weight is moving you, you're not moving the weight. What strength is, in my personal opinion, is controlling the power, controlling power. That's what strength is. I can pick this up, but how many times can I pick it up? How can I control it? How can I master the movements, whether it's a slow eccentric movement, a slow concentric movement, or an iso pull? It all is hold and strength. So you want to control it at all times. And this allows you to do so. So I'm going to show you real quick and how to do it. So I get on the bar, get under here, take it, tighten it up. One, two, adjust that third foot. All right. And right before I'm about to go, Tighten up my lats, push the stomach out, tighten up, and then when you squat down, boom. All right? Key here is to always control the this. Without this, there is no this. There is no, it ain't coming up. If it's really heavy, your core will give out so fast. So controlling this, having that big air bubble in you, Having that core stability, it was going to make the difference between actually getting that three white lights or getting three reds. 